So guys, meet Kylie. Oh my God. A baptism of fire to try and understand everything that's going wrong with this dog and what we can do to help her. Right, well, let's get started then. Scott's making an early start this morning. He's on the road to an animal charity he often works with. All Dogs Matter. They helped to rescue and rehome abandoned dogs here in London. And they've just let me know of four dogs that have just come into their shelter that are in a really terrible state. Hello. Hello, you four. <laughs> Waiting for Scott is animal rescuer Sonia. Hello. Hi, baby. Hello, you. And the four new arrivals that were all saved from a local pound that could no longer house them. They all look horrific, don't they? Their fur is in patches and tatty or even non-existent on that little pom. Do you think we need to have a little look at her and see what's going on? It was very clear from the get-go that the Pomeranian was the one that was struggling the most. She's the one that's lost the most amount of fur. Uh, she looks in the worst condition. She's very thin. She's struggling. I can see, well, clearly the biggest problem here is her skin and the complete lack of hair. So this has been going on for a while. She's lost a huge amount of fur as a result. Who would let their dog turn into this? Into I mean, it's state. disgusting. It really shocks me to the core. And to see a Pomeranian look like that, I just don't know how the people here do it. And I don't know how their hearts don't break every day. She's also coming pregnant. Oh, you're joking. So, yes. And what happened to the puppy? The puppy didn't survive. The puppy wasn't even, it wasn't even a proper pup, so it wasn't even fully formed. So, it's sickening, yeah. isn't it? Really upsets you, doesn't it, yeah. to see this? It's heartbreaking. Everyone gets, everyone gets upset. You can't help it. You wouldn't be human if you didn't get upset about something like that. Sorry. You're OK, we're going to sort you out. Hey, don't we? Let me sort you out. Hey. It's all right. Oh, hello. Hello. Mm. Wow, they're affectionate little ones, aren't they? Come on. All right, well, what I think we need to do is mm -hmm. all these guys look like their conditions are quite manageable, but this little one clearly needs my help. Scott Chauffeur will now take the malnourished Pomeranian yeah. back to his Richmond practice. There you go to find out just what is causing her dramatic hair loss. She's really stolen my heart, this yeah, little one. She... Say goodbye Aww. to Sonia. Bye-bye, darling. We all get quite attached to the dogs down here. We might only spend a few days with them, but we, you know, we love them all as if they're our own, really. OK. I never understand how people can be cruel to animals. They're defenceless, innocent creatures. Why would you be mean to them? Why would you hurt them or neglect them? I just don't get it. Take care. Come on, they're beautiful. Let's go and see everyone. Scott has arrived at the Richmond practice with the shockingly malnourished rescue dog that he's decided to name Kylie. What's the matter with her? Well, it's a, it's a long list of ailments that little Kylie's got going on, I'm afraid. It's so sad. You're in good hands now, little one. But the pint-sized Pomeranian is not the only special guest making an appearance today. Recently graduated vet Riaz is on his way to the practice for day one of his new career. I've been working for this for the last five years and now I can't wait to just get stuck in. Hey, Riaz. Hey, Scott. How are you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. How good. are you? The to rookie you will be spending a four-month placement oh, go, at Scott's amazing. practices. Yeah, five years. So, and here's our console room. Ah, oh, and it's Emma. Hi. This is our head nurse, Hi. Emma. Hi. Nice Riaz. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Riaz, new doing? grad, fresh off the press. <laughs> How fresh are we talking? Oh, too fresh. Yeah, as in like a day fresh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like yesterday. I'm glad the first person you met at the practice is our head nurse because I would say, as a new grad, the person you want to be besties with is definitely the head nurse. So, the head vet, but you call the shots. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. I'm glad we've established this hierarchy on day one. Get it right from the offset. From the very beginning. So, Brilliant. you, scrubs, you downstairs, and I'll bring the dog. <laughs> What Riaz doesn't know is just how shocking his first case will be. I thought today that Kylie would really help to flex 
Riaz's veterinary muscles. So guys, meet Kylie. Oh my God. A baptism of fire to try and understand everything that's going wrong with this dog and what we can do to help her. Right, well, let's get started then. Look how much hair she's lost. You can see right through to her skin and you shouldn't really be able to do that at all. We have virtually no history on this dog whatsoever, so we have to piece it together ourselves. When Scott told me there was no history, it was literally like a nightmare. I was like, oh, can't I just have an easy vaccination or something to do? But I'm happy to, to do that, so bring it on. We're gonna start at the front of you, little girl, and work our way back, eh? Here, let me look inside. Oh, darling, you're missing quite a few teeth as well, aren't you? Oh. Skin's quite darker as well in patches. Yeah. She must be really itchy. This is clearly something which has, you know, not happened overnight. I've never seen anything like Kylie. I think she's the first and hopefully the last time I ever see anything like that. I mean, just looking at her tummy and her mammary glands here, oh, she's clearly had yeah. puppies. Well, you'll be horrified to know that just two days ago, she uh, had a stillbirth at the kennels. She didn't, okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh! Mm-mm. Yeah. It's not fair, is it? When I heard that she lost a puppy, I, I lost it myself. I broke down. I don't know if it's a maternal feeling, woman to woman, but the thought of losing your baby in a stillbirth, um, just, it just made me feel for her. It's just not fair. So, Dr. Riaz, what do you think? I think what we should find out first is the skin problem, whether it is a simple skin problem, whether it's just a parasite or something like that, or there's an underlying cause, perhaps. I think we should start with some skin scrapes. Riaz is now carefully scraping away the top layer of Kylie's skin, trying to find evidence of the mites that are making her life a misery. Lovely. That's great. Good work. Good job. Good girl, honey. But the mites are notoriously elusive and can easily go undetected even under a microscope. Where are you, you little blighters? I'm in here somewhere. So guys, um, no mites found on this microscope slide. So what are we going to think about that? The fact that we haven't found it doesn't rule it out. So I think what we should do in the meantime is start treating for the mites and perhaps run an additional test to confirm the presence of it, something like a blood test. Samples of Kylie's blood will now be sent away to the lab to confirm the team's clinical diagnosis. It seems to us that the biggest likelihood is that Kylie is suffering with mange. And the best way to kill off a mange mite is by giving the dog a bath and start helping Kylie to recover and grow that fur back. Now you've got to give a dog a bath. Um, a very technical job. <laughs> I'm very qualified for it. Let's do it. Are we ready for your bath? Oh, no. Oh. I know. There she is, star of the show. I never saw her on my first day suspects being mange mites are the, day, the reason for her hair loss. Bathing. So he <laughs> and Emma are about to give there Kylie a strong don't chemical say. bath to there fight the parasites. We don't know yet if we're treating for which type of mange, so we're just going to hit it hard. So we're just going to not get her face too much. This bath is not the nicest thing. We're dressed up in masks and gloves because it's pretty strong stuff, and poor girl has just stood there taking it. So what we'll do with the rest of it is just sponge it on a little bit. You get three tummy rubs, hey? Eh? <laughs> hey, gorgeous. The way this works is it will kill the bugs from the outside and hopefully make her feel a lot less itchy, and she can start to grow some of this hair back. If it is just some bugs on the surface, then we should start seeing some progress in the next few weeks with regards to her hair coming back. I never thought that I'd get such an interesting and a bit of bizarre case as I have today. And with me, your first nurse. That's true. How does it feel to take... No, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> your nursing virginity. <laughs> I can't wait to see her full of hair again. I bet she's gorgeous. Riaz is oh, just lovely. relieved all of Kylie's problems can be fixed. It will be several days before blood test results will confirm just what type of mange is afflicting Kylie. There you go. All right, honey. Gorgeous. But for now, this lucky survivor will return to the care of rescuer Sonia. All right then, honey. She'll build up the malnourished dog's strength and get Kylie ready for a loving new home. Say thanks, Riaz. Bye, gorgeous. <laughs> You're going to sleep well, aren't you? You'll never forget your first sort of patient, regardless of what it is. 
I think I'll remember Kylie forever. All right, honey. I'll get you some dinner. Check out you some dinner. Kylie! Look at you. Well done. Hello, Sonia. Oh, Scott. Oh my God, Hi. Kylie! It's been five weeks since Scott first met I'm Kylie. Good. You look incredible. Doesn't she? She's an absolute vision, isn't she? She looks fantastic. Did you recognise her? Hardly. <laughs> well, first of all, she's got hair. Mm. <laughs> it's incredible. This was how the Pomeranian looked when Scott first saw her at the rescue shelter. Severely underweight and without most of her hair. Who would let their dog turn into this. Into I mean, it's stairs. disgusting. The little girl was treated for mange mites, and she's now fully recovered and sporting a whole new look. Hair she's on like, the face. Look, look at me, look at me. Her Hair legs. on the legs. Hair on the tail. Look at that. Carly looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe this is the same dog. She looks beautiful. The blood tests amazing. have shown Kylie was under attack from the debilitating sarcoptic mange, better known as fox mange. I think what the irony is here is that she had fox mange, mm. and now she looks like a fox. And you look like a fox. <laughs> Don't you? You look like little foxy. Hey? Foxy Kylie. Kylie is just loving the attention, and she deserves it. So I say, go, Kylie. <laughs> It won't be long now before Sonia will reluctantly allow the little Pomeranian to leave her care and go to a forever home. She's just still there to be loved and to give love. Beautiful foxy Kylie. Yeah. Good girl. I'm Dr Kate Adams and welcome to Bondi Pet, a new destination for pet health and well-being. Our site is filled with everything to fulfil your pet's needs so that you can make healthy choices for your pets.